Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my Texas garden. Today, I am on the front porch doing a little pruning of herbs and I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you how I prune these mint plants. Hello kitty cat, hello. Now this is a spearmint plant that I had in the garden and I potted it in this big giant pot last year. And unfortunately, I've been neglecting it a little and it's gotten a little tall and leggy and it's time to get it pruned up. Now this is a mint plant, but honestly, you can prune any type of herb that you want. Basil, rosemary, oregano. So why would you want to prune an herb plant? Pruning makes it aesthetically pleasing, what can I say? But here are some more great reasons to prune your herb plants. One is to actually just clean the plant up. You might have some damaged leaves or maybe some branches that have died back. Just keeping the plant cleaned up and promoting a healthy living environment for it. The second reason kind of feeds off that first thing, keeping a tidy environment. We want to prune to keep the air circulation moving through. If the plant is too bushy and air can't properly move through, you can have issues with decaying matter, decaying plant matter on the plant itself, causing fungal growth, causing more disease and viruses, and it's just not healthy for the plant. So just like with any of my plants out in the garden, we want good air circulation. And finally, pruning the plant forces the plants to grow more tasty leaves that we're after. By allowing this plant to grow up vertically, we're not getting nearly as many leaves. Plus, the taller they grow, the more likely they're going to go to flower and then seed. And in many cases, like as in basil, when you allow the basil plant to go to seed, the basil plant actually gets a little bitter when you cook with it. Pruning your herb plants is super simple. I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you can see exactly how I do it. And then I'm gonna take you over and show you the sweet mint plant so you can see what it looks like a few weeks after it's been pruned. Now, the only rule to pruning your plants is you want to make sure that you don't take off more than a third of each of your stems. It's very important. Okay, so this is the one we're gonna start with right here. You can see we've got the main stem going up here, and then off the main stem, we've got leaves going all the way up, alternating. Now, in between the leaf and the stem, kind of in the armpit, that's what I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it the armpit of the plant, we've got another set, can you see that? another set of leaves growing there, another set of two leaves on either side. And that is that is all the way up the stem of this particular plant. One, I chose this one because it's easier to see. Um, some of the other ones are a lot smaller. So now what we need to do is determine how much of this we're gonna cut off. Now this, this stem right here is probably, I don't know, 10 inches. Um, I don't want to cut more than a third of that off. So basically, I'm just going to be topping it. So I'm going to come in here. I think I'm going to take about this much off. Yeah, we're going to cut it right here. And you just take a pair of scissors. If you have a plant that is super tender, you can use your fingernails. Um, but mint plants are a little bit thicker of a stem. So we're going to use the scissors. Just like that. And now there's that piece right there, okay? So I'm gonna do that again. I'm just gonna go to his buddy right over here and back this up so you can see. Um, okay, so you see we've got some leaves here that are damaged. Um, probably from me, this plant was rather neglected back there in the back of the garden. Could be a little fungal, we'll need to keep an eye on that. Mint's pretty hardy though, so I don't really fuss over it too much. And you can see the stem here, and you can see where it's lost its big uh, leaves, probably from the lack of water, the neglect by me. Um, but you can see those little leaves are where the big leaves should have been. Um, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna prune this back. I guess technically I could prune it back over here, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep some of the bigger leaves. So I'm just gonna take the little top right above that set of leaves right there. And you can see we've got nice little leaves in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going real quick. Now, if you're not too sure how much you should cut back, 
what I would highly recommend is just starting at the very, very top. Just take that top off and kind of step back and take a look. Look at your plant really well, handle it, it's okay to handle it, look at the plant, see what you can safely take off. This is where you're gonna use a lot of your own judgment here. And I think personally that I can take a little bit more off the top here. Kind of like getting a haircut. You don't want to cut too low at first. Okay, so I think that's a good enough pruning for today. You did see me get in here and really cut some down really drastically. It's because the uh, stems were really bad looking. Um, the growth didn't look good, so I just took the whole stem out. That way the plant can concentrate on keeping the rest of it healthy instead of putting it all of its energy into unhealthy branches and leaves. So you'll see in here, that uh, we have a lot of little growth in there and that will eventually bush out. So this whole thing should eventually fill out. Now I'm going to give this plant some liquid fertilizer uh, just to uh, give it a little treat after I, <laughs> I pruned it. Okay, so as promised, I told you I would show you a plant that I have been continuously pruning. Now, uh, some of these have not been pruned back, uh, but others have. This was the most recent prune, and this was just two days ago. Uh, you can see where it was cut back right there. Hopefully, you can see that. It was cut back right there. It was as tall as the it was as tall as the rest of those, um, and you can see that the new growth is already starting down here. This was pruned two weeks ago. Let's see if we can find the original cut. Here it is. You just, can you see that? There's the original cut right there. And here is all of the new growth. And this is just one stem right here. Look at what one cutting did. Because I knew I was gonna be making this video, I wasn't taking anything from the front. I was taking it all from the back. So let's turn this around. Check that out. Look at all that new growth. That is from me constantly pruning uh, the ones back here. You can see there's cuts right there. Uh, if we dig a little bit more, we can find another cut. Anyway, that backside is all filled out now because it's been continuously pruned. And you can see that we have all this new growth. We've got new growth from um, the ground you know, from runners, which is why we don't put, or I don't put mint into the ground because they send runners everywhere. So I keep all my mint in uh, pots. And in case you were wondering, mint loves water. So if you're gonna grow mint in pots, make sure you're watering. Right now I'm watering a couple of times a day because this is a small pot. My big pot of spearmint won't have to be watered nearly as much. So there you go. That's what constant pruning looks like. This sweet mint uh, is actually my preferred mint to eat with, to put in salads. Uh, and spearmint and peppermint are uh, mints that I use to uh, make tea. Now here is my peppermint that I actually thought I killed over the winter. I had uh, my son bring it from the back side of the garden as well. And um, you could see just how hardy of a plant Spearmint, mint, anything in the mint family really is. This was completely dead um, this winter, uh, and it's it's coming back alive. And y'all, that's how we prune herbs. For more great gardening videos, go ahead and click right here, and I'll meet y'all over there.